finally some good lego dc sets it's very rare to see a theme like dc have good lego sets kind of seeing a pattern here <clears throat> but anyways these are the 80th anniversary batman of summer 2018 sets that release in august and these include the batmobile pursuit of the joker which is easily my favorite and a lot of others favorite set of the wave it's based off of the animated series batmobile and i think there's really nothing wrong here the shaving of the batmobile is perfect and to be honest the minifigures aren't half bad i mean batman comes in most of these sets sure but the new joker from a dc villains game is finally a minifigure and it did an excellent job on it that's a whole if i had to be honest this will be a day one purchase for me Next is the Batman, Batwing, and the Riddler Pursuit, and again, really good set. This is a big old $50 set though, which seems overpriced, I know, but it might just have to, I might just have to get it just to see if it really is worth it. The Batwing and police car are good, but the copter sucks. However, the minifigures, oh my god, these are so good. Finally being able to get a Shazam, different from the Comic Con one, and the new Gordon figure is really cool as well. Again, we'll definitely pick this one day one up day one. And finally, there's the Bat Cave. Kind of disappointed here. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the 2017 Lego Batman movie one, and this one looks way too similar to it. It's okay, I guess, but it's too crazy for my taste. The tank thing sucks, and the clay face is really bad. I like the print at the top of his head. But I think the 2017 one from the Lego Batman movie is much better. However, then I like the new Two-Face and Catwoman, along with another way to get the Batwoman. And let's not forget about that $20 Mr. Freeze Bat Cycle Battle, which oddly releases early on July 1st. Why this set, I don't know. I don't know about you, but look closely at the out-of-the-box picture. It looks familiar. It looks like the Tumblr, doesn't it? I need to get to rebuilding mine. Only hardcore Jack Bricks fans will get that reference. Comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. And finally, there is there are two junior sets, and these are one. This there is the Batman and the uh, Joker Escape. That one doesn't really look like the worst thing in the world, though. I honestly like the build, even though a lot of people are hating on it for some reason. Again, though, the copter sucks, and I do love the new Harley Quinn, though. Might be my favorite minifigure of the entire wave. Reminds me of that one from Apocalypse Berg. And also, I have this really out-of-place purple top hat. And just threw in here. I'll take it, though. And there's only one thing that really ticks me off about this set, and that's the price. This is 40 bucks. I know. And finally, there's a Riddler robbery, and it's just too cheap to pass up on, to be honest. And that's it. That was a lot to cover, but what do you guys think of these sets? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below, and we'll see you guys on the next episode of Jack Bye.